Hey guys, Cha Chan here, and in today's video I'm drawing a piece of gift artwork. So this artwork is for, I'm really sorry, I cannot pronounce, or rather I cannot read the username correctly. Let's uh, give it a go. Dromyosauridae? I am so sorry. <laughs> Maybe I should have bunged it into Google Translate, but you never know, that could have done it even worse than I would. Anyway, so... Let me tell you the story of how I came to be drawing this. So I was on MFC, my figure collection, and I was reading the articles that had been posted that day, and there was an article on there talking about disappointing figures. And one of the fe features, one of the uh, figures featured in that article was the Taito Happy Birthday Miku, which is a really cute figure. It's, you know, it's a really cute design, concept, sculpt. But the execution, the quality of the figure is so bad. <laughs> like, it's not the worst thing ever, but it's... I wouldn't pay full price for it, you know? I'd be hesitant to pay £15 for it, so I didn't. <laughs> I did not buy this figure. I was going to back in last year, the year before, whenever I saw it, I was like, oh, that's cute, maybe I'll want to add it to my collection. Uh, since then my tastes have changed a bit, I prefer older styles of figures, like Miku figures, I prefer the uh, older styles of Miku figures and also more uh, Sega lines compared to Taito's figures. Anyway, it's personal preference things, but you know, happy birthday Miku, still cute. Anyway, in my comment I commented saying like, yeah, that's why I didn't buy it because I saw other people's photos and I went, Mm, the quality looks kind of bad. <laughs> and also in my comment I said that if I ever did see one for like dirt cheap, I'd probably buy one to customise, because there's no way I'd just leave it like that. <laughs> so uh, then, Dromaisoridae, whose name I can't pronounce, replied to me and was like, I have one of those that I bought on Amiami a while back. And I tried to customise it, and then they abandoned it halfway through for various reasons. And they said, if you want it, you can have it for free. <laughs> I was like, ooh, yeah, I'll take you up on that. <laughs> so I messaged them, and we did a bit of like back and forth, giving details and such. And currently, she's in the post, on her way to me. Uh, now, the reason she was free is because she looks like this, currently. <laughs> So yes, she is in many a piece. She's missing her base, so I'll have to make one myself, which is no problem. I'm perfectly fine to have a DIY project. And to be honest, this is like an ideal situation for me for having this figure. Because if I bought one brand new, I'd be hesitant to start working on it. I'd be like, I don't want to like destroy it. But this one's already destroyed, so it's perfect for me. <laughs> I'm not really sure what I'm going to do with it in terms of painting. Uh, maybe I'll go for a more classic Miku colour palette. Maybe I'll try and retain some of those clear plastic effects somewhere. I don't really like Miku when she's got like the colour gradient in her hair. Her hair. Her hair. Her hair. Her hair. <laughs> like, one of the biggest reasons I didn't. Uh, pre-order or buy the Hatsune Miku Bishoujo My Little Pony crossover was because her hair is a blue to pink gradient and I'd rather it just be the solid blue. I mean it looks good, don't get me wrong, it looks good and looks cute but it's just not quite what I want in a Miku figure and you know if I'm not 100% happy with a figure I'm not gonna be spending 100, 200, 300, you know, the prices that figures can go up to, I'm not gonna be spending that much. <laughs> So uh, yes, I'm really excited. Thank you so much, Drama Sorry Day. I'm really sorry. I cannot figure out how to pronounce your username. <laughs> anyway, uh, so Drama Sorry Day. I'm so sorry. Really likes Piplup. So what I thought I would do is draw Miku in a kind of Piplup-inspired outfit. I maybe could have done a little bit better, but I was like, you know, it's uh, just a quick little thank you drawing. I don't want to be spending too many hours drawing this. Uh, I spent an hour on this, not too bad. It was really fun to draw. I really enjoyed stylizing Miku a bit, so there's more of a cartoonish style 
kind of reminds me a bit of Randy Cunningham, ninth grade ninja with the hand style. I mean, that's definitely where he picked up that hand stylization from. That's definitely the um, origins of that. <laughs> uh, and at first I wasn't even going to shade this, but then I was like, hmm, we can add some shading. So I did some funky little things in the hair and I really like it. I think it turned out really cute. It's it's simple, but it's cute. And I think it's my first like Gijinka type design I've done in years. <laughs> I can't remember the last time I tried to make a Gijinka. So th that was interesting. So yes, that's how I came to be drawing this. Uh, well, we're almost at the end of the video, so... um. What else can I say to fill in the last few seconds? Uh, I'm almost finished watching Hikaru no Go. I'm really enjoying it. I'm kind of scared to finish it. I have uh, like 10 episodes left. So I've been marathoning that. So <laughs> that's my current obsession. I should really draw some fan art. I mean, I have drawn some fan art, but it's just like little sketches, doodles, nothing that's worthy of being posted in my opinion so you know anyway uh, that has filled in the last few seconds so i hope you enjoyed this video please do not hit the like button as that probably hurts it's not very nice so maybe shake his hand instead with that being said i hope to see you in the next one and bye